rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary. Ready? Ready? So, well, a huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5-2 player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Punch his block. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful hand skills here. The right and the left. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big punch land. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch from the clinch. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Swing and a miss by short. Just over three minutes to go. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that kick to the body. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jabs. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Just out of range with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Some fighters shy away from checking the legs. He can check that one. Misses with that punch. Back and forth we go.
All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Whiffs on that offering. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Beautiful strike. Wow. And he landed the right hand there. Got the center collar tied. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at the turtle in that kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. for his activity, landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Chor. is now upon us pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, that's a good right hand. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. They continue to exchange. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course, you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence. Hayes, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot be, just be a knockout guy. You gotta be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Nice punch lands over the top. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. 
trying to kick the leg out. Body kick is blocked. Big kick land. Nice right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Joy gets caught with that punch. A little single collar tie there. Oh, and he gets the takedown. Useful. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Great punch. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Tags him with the left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Just misses there with the left. Good right here. Oh, beautiful right shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. He knows you're going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Big kick lands. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice. Nice. Straight right hand, no good. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power. He's hurt. He's hurt. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Nice straight punch. Big body kick land. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. How about that shin? Just over three minutes to go. Oh, 
real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice strike. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Another straight left. Double jab landed there by Short. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice combination of kicks there by the Korean Super Bowl. And they set. All right, single collar tie now. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's a good jab right there. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice punch there. Nice body kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Just misses with that one. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Ooh, big shot lands. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Missed with that attempt. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent there. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and... Secures the takedown. And really starts. What a round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Checks the leg kick, lands with the right hand. Choi's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Nice. Single collar tie now. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Yeah? Blocks the strike. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. All 
right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice. Brilliant submission defense there. Nice body kick Whoa. right up the elbow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Choi. Just misses with the straight right. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice punch by Choi. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Choi gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. His misses are entertaining. Now connects with a right. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go oh, finish this fight. Huge right hand! What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by...